Greetings, welcome to Blast One. Just want to give you a recap of what we've seen here at the Coatings Plus SSPC show in 2021. It's the last Coatings Plus, it's the last show for SSPC. Next year it's AMP. We want to show you some of the new things we've got at this show and what some of our great vendors have got here at the show. First of all, we've got the VertiDrive M7 blasting robot. This robot's got three silence number eight nozzles. It can pack a real punch. This is proven technology that you've seen from us before, but it works day in, day out. We've got plenty available across the world in our rental fleet. They're great units. Next here we have the VertiDrive, they call it the M9 painting robot. Now this is brand new technology. It's the first prototype. There's several phases of prototypes coming out. But this is to show the new coating technology that's gonna be coming out. In summary, you should be able to come take a snapshot of the surface. It will automatically map out its pathway and identify obstacles. That's where we're going. It's gonna be fully autonomous. You'll stick the robot on the surface, it will find where it is, and then it will go up, down, up, down, and completely coat the tank. Target is 90% coating with four spray guns, which each do the work of two guys. So eight times faster than sprayers, fully automatic is where we're going with the painting robot. Seriously, seriously exciting. If we come on through, this unit here is another prototype called the IntelliBlast. Now this is the first of a few phases where we can actually tell you how much abrasive is being used coming out of the abrasive metering valve per minute. So it's pretty amazing in pounds or kilos per, per, per minute per hour and the future is where you can actually get an alert on your phone saying, hey guys, someone's been using 200 pounds an hour more abrasive than they have for the previous hour. Something's messed up with the valve, go check it. Pretty powerful, saving you time and money exactly when you need to know. Don't get to the end of the job and say, oh crap, we used too much abrasive. Find out very quick. That's the future, it's big data. That's where we're trying to go. Heading over here, we've got the course, the release of the snake bite nozzle. Super, super pleased with the, the uh, productions with the results we've had so far. So these nozzles are a shorter version of the snake bite and they seriously do a great job for those smaller confined areas. Operators are loving them. This bulk amphiblast unit is made by Schmidt Manufacturing, Axie Manufacturing, and they do wet and dry blasting with four blasters, all independent, seriously powerful. Works really good with the Verti drive. When you have three nozzles blasting on the Verti drive and one for the guy doing the touch up, that last 10% the robot can't get. Seriously powerful machine, works great. And then behind me here, we have the RIVT unit. This is this rotates and is for blasting penstocks or tunnels from six feet up to 32 feet. It works seriously well. Great for penstocks here in Arizona. Let's go and see some of our main vendors and we'll fill you in more. So here we are at the GMA booth. These guys are wonderful vendors of ours and they have oodles of garnet. It's garnet coming out of their ears. Then we went to the stockpile last week and they have 100,000 tonnes of garnet in stockpile here in North America, in Philadelphia. No supply chain shortages, really, really good company to work with. You can see the full range of blasting abrasives we have from the new steel for blasting those mill scales all the way up to the extreme blast, which is great for taking off those 50 mil coatings. So the full range it's fully available, ready for us. Great partners here at GMA. Here we are at the Schmidt Axiom booth and they're releasing this new Babs Deadman control system. And it really packs a punch, making it good for the operator. The point here is it's got a, a chest piece where you can put the weight on your chest instead of on your shoulder and arm. And it's very easy, um, simple for the operator. Squeeze the trigger and blast. So. This best application is, you know, blasting down where the guys can sweep the floor. There's also a longer version, which extends it up to make it even easier. So you can have your arms in a more relaxed position, but we're very interested to get, um, get this into the beta phase and get it out in the field for testing with some of our customers to um, get that feedback. The most common question that we've been asked about this new system is, can it be used with multiple size blast hoses? And the answer is yes, it's got a simple insert which can be taken out and readapted for any size blastos. So the new Babs Deadman system from Schmidt is looking great. So we're here at the West Technology booth. These guys make seriously good lights for our blasting industry. 
your light I want to talk about, one of them is this linker light. This is a good light for ordinary locations, as in non-hazardous, so you can't use it for painting, but works great for those blasting environments hanging on scaffolds. It comes with all those attachments, which makes it easy to use. Um, you know, all the dome covers, the blasting shields. This light here is the, the what they call the body light. It works really good, it can hang on the guy's torso, but it's fully explosion proof. So it's the first time we've had a fully explosion proof light that works with a battery you can change in the tank. So simply by screwing this off, it's now an inert battery once it's disconnected, but still fully enclosed. So we can unscrew that and change it actually inside an explosion environment. Seriously powerful light and um, works great. So here we are, the bristle blaster booth. Um, two things, of course, we've got the battery bristle blaster, which we released last year, which everyone would have seen. These are great tools for doing those small touch up areas. And new coming out very shortly is this double wide bristle blaster belt. So you can now get up to two inches or 50 millimeters of, of pattern on your steel, steel substrate. So it's a good innovation coming out from, from the bristle blaster team. And uh, we're super, super pleased to be partnering with these guys. So we're here with CS Unitech and the Trelawney team. A um, couple of new products we've got is now I've got an electric needle scaler. It's um, low vibration, so it's very easy to use for the operator. And we've got these low vibration needle scalers. If you've never used a low vibration needle scaler, you will love these tools. I had a captain of a ship tell me we used to go to the sound, go to sleep to the sound of a needle scaler. Well, they can still do that, but the operator can also go for longer to keep them sleeping better. So we're here with the industrial vacuum team, and here we have a Hurricane 500 vacuum system. Seriously powerful for sucking out the, all this spent abrasive out of those tanks after you blast them or out of the ships after blasting those cleanup projects. This vacuum pump's a real pump. They've done a great job in decorating it. And um, if you need any of this type of equipment, just don't hesitate to reach out to us. We can help you out. So we're here at the Defelsco booth. These guys make some seriously good products. Uh, what we're going to show you here is this is the new low voltage tester that they've released a few years ago. But what I found really, really useful when talking about this one was it's got this roller sponge, which is great for doing larger areas. Um, and you can simply connect this red cable into the end of the, the tester and roll this sponge up and down the surface. So seriously good product innovation from, from the Felsco. Um, we've also got the Posi Tester SST salt testing meter. This thing has great attachments, as you know, with all the all the Defelsco products, you simply unclip the probe and you can connect the next probe up and you've got like a dew point meter or a dry film thickness meter. This new gauge is really good. It's now touch screen. It, um, it's a larger screen. It's easy to use, got health functions all the way through it. Seriously good improvement on from Defelsco. And we're back at the Blast One booth, standing in front of the Mist Blaster. Of course, it's one of those products that you can do wet blasting and dry blasting from the same blast pot. Put your abrasive into the pot you introduce water after the metering valve, so you can do wet and dry blasting with only using about a pint of water per minute. This tank here will last your whole day when you're doing wet blasting, which is phenomenal in this wet blasting market. I just want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for supporting us here at SSPC and Coatings Plus and thank them for a good show. And if you've got any questions about any of these products, don't hesitate to reach out to Blast One. I'm glad to help you out.